Hi, this is Misha, and today we're kind of showing a little something different. This is an Alpha Project, Alpha Proj revolver. I believe the model number on this, they're just numbers, is a 3561, something like that, close enough. Okay, empty. This is in 357, 38 special. And this has the full lug six inch barrel with the blued finish and the kind of Pockmar knockoff grips. These are being imported by Checkpoint over in Tennessee out of Brune, sometimes called Bruno, Czech Republic, very famous arms creation center that's been around for a long time. And they're just one of the few left modern revolvers. Very much based on the Smith & Wesson. We have a double action, single action trigger. Sorry. We have the firing pin in the frame. We have a little bit of a kind of thing there you see on the hammer. Actually kind of really resembles a true hammer. <laughs> the cylinder latch is Smith style, press forward. The ejector is fine, but it's a little short. It has this kind of metal piece here. It's something I kind of love and hate. Like I said, it keeps you from really hitting the ejector further in than I might be comfortable with. But on the other hand, when it's folded in, it very much protects your ejector. You see it makes a seal here, a nice steel wall, and this is protected. So your ejector is very, very much there. So, you know. The grip's a little interesting. It's more at a vertical angle than a lot of other revolvers, so it's not so much the cowboy style. It a little bit reminds me of the old um, Austrian Rass Gasser revolver. That one's even straighter than this, but that was one of the styles that was in Europe. It's kind of a European style. So yeah, we, uh, we fired few different cylinders of both 38 and 357, both uh, brass and steel case through it. We had no uh, no issues at all, no timing problems. Uh, we didn't, we weren't really shaving anything with the forcing cone. Uh, yeah, it, it shot very, very well. The rain loves us. Three fifty seven. Very pleasant, even with the 357, because of this rather long and heavy barrel, it kept uh, kept it very manageable. The double action trigger is, you know, not unexpectedly heavy, but smooth. The single action is actually quite nice for more of a service style gun. It's not a match grade, but it's very nice for something analogous to Smith and Wesson 686 or a Ruger GP100. We do have a ribbed trigger, pretty wide, which I like. We've got a curved and ribbed hammer, which is, generally speaking, easy to get a grip on unless your hands are wet, like mine were a bit ago and slipping off. We have adjustable rear sights, a nice serrated top strap to take down on glare. So yeah, all in all, for what these go for, this version is under 500 MSRP retail. They're about 485 some of the other versions get as low as $299. And uh, Checkpoint has quite a few. They have this 357, of course. They do it with a 4 inch. I think they might also do a 3 inch. They do a 38 special exclusive. Doesn't do Magnum, just 38. They do a 9mm Parabellum NATO, which is actually quite interesting to me. It just has a 4 inch barrel, 
and it does not have a fluted cylinder, which is kind of an interesting appearance. They do a 22 WMR, 22 Magnum, and they do a 22 LR revolver, which is frankly just kind of adorable. It's a small little revolver and it's a nine shot. They even do a 22 LR carbine with a shoulder stock and a long 20 inch barrel, which is so ridiculous, it's kind of cool. But with so few revolvers on the market today, new, this is just something to consider and it's made in the Czech Republic, which is known for making very nice guns, all in all. And this seems to follow suit. It does not seem to be made for many cast or MIM parts. A lot of these parts still feel forged or machined. I'm sure there's CNC equipment involved in some casting because that's just modern construction. But these feel more traditional revolver than say a modern Smith & Wesson 686. And Ruger pretty much always used cast frames and things. That was their kind of claim to fame and how they were able to get revolvers on market much cheaper than Colt and Smith & Wesson. I'd love to comment on the newer Colt revolvers that have come out this year, 2017, but they, they've been very stingy about getting them out to people, so I have not had trigger time with any of the Colts yet. Just thought I would share this because you don't see many videos at all on these. Most of them on YouTube are from Europe or, or the UK. But uh, yeah, we had good luck out of it. I think I'll probably hang on to one of these for the money. It's a nice revolver, and I don't really have a 357. And as Jay was saying, everyone needs at least one 357 just for fun. And um, it really was. It was a lot of fun. Nice steel frame gun. They do offer these with wood grips. And there's a few different finish options. I think there's a matte finish available. There's also a nickeled. There might be a stainless. I don't think that Checkpoint imports all of these variants. I'm just talking to what's made over in the Czech Republic. Well, if you have any questions or comments, please post them below. Oh, and I didn't mention it, but this comes in a perfectly okay plastic case with a print manual, two different brushes, and of course, importer's warranty. Checkpoint seems to be pretty dang good at presentation. Anyway, there we go. <laughs> As I said, if you have any questions or comments, please post them below. If you like the video, please click like. If you haven't already subscribed, you know the routine by now. We'd really appreciate it if you would. And as always, this is Misha, and we'll catch you next time.